Hi, I'm Robert Musa, President of CPS, and this is the first in a series of talks about a new technology which you certainly have already seen and used, and which you may now be considering for use in your business as well. You know what a touchscreen is. Touchscreens currently are used in restaurants, on your iPhone, and at your bank. They're found in nearly all industries, from the cockpit of an airplane, to the bridge of a ship, to the passenger compartment of your car. The market for touch-enabled mobile devices such as the iPhone and gaming systems alone is projected to reach $5 billion this year. It's a big business. And touchscreens have gained acceptance in the world of advertising and sales as a valuable tool for branding products and building sales. Uh, museums use them for displaying instructional media and building owners use them as building directories. Universities employ them as honor walls to give recognition to their donors and landlords use them to provide leasing information. Now, as I use the term in this series, an interactive touchscreen presentation is a computer application which uses touchscreen technology to allow a consumer, your consumer, to independently navigate through information you wish to communicate to the consumer. With an interactive touchscreen presentation, instead of pushing information down to the consumer, as is the case with traditional media, the consumer pulls the information they're interested in with the touch of a finger. Now, touchscreen technology has been around since the 1980s, and since then, not only has touchscreen reliability become rock solid, but there has also been a wide expansion in the types of touch technologies available to choose from. And prices, especially for touchscreens under 24 inches, have decreased significantly. Touch technology is now considered a mature technology. You can adopt it without fear of being on the bleeding edge. So how can touch technology help you? Well, first of all, research has shown that digital signs and interactive digital media in particular produce results in the areas of traffic, sales, revenue, and loyalty. Uh, I can give you an example. A, a vending machine company recently conducted tests with 20 vending machines, all serving similar demographics. Ten of the machines had a small seven-inch digital display running ads for a variety of food products that were available in the vending machines, while the other ten did not. The machines with the video displays experienced sales increases 20 to 30 percent greater than the machines lacking the video displays. Consumers clearly like information, like touchscreens, and it does influence their purchasing habits. Of course, a touchscreen in and of itself is useless without appropriate software. In order to effectively market your products using a touchscreen, you need an interactive presentation. An interactive presentation can effectively introduce your products, create consumer interest in those products, and eventually generate in the consumer the intent to buy those products, which is what you're looking to do right from the beginning. I'll discuss what is called application design in great detail in a subsequent video. However, before starting to design an interactive application, there are several questions you need to, you need to consider. Uh, the answers to these questions will in large part drive both the design of the presentation and the selection of the touchscreen hardware itself. The first and foremost of these questions is, what is the objective of the presentation? Do we want to provide the consumer with real-time information that the consumer will use to make a purchasing decision? If so, we'll call this type of presentation a utilitarian presentation. On the other hand, is the presentation's purpose generating brand awareness? If so, we can call this a branding presentation. Now, this branding presentation will present information in an entirely different fashion than the utilitarian presentation. Or perhaps your presentation's purpose is to drive traffic to your website or to build customer loyalty. In this case, you have a herding presentation. Another use might be to gather consumer demographic data through a survey presentation. In any event, in all likelihood, your objective may, be, may incorporate some or all of these goals. Keep in mind, however, that these goals may conflict in terms of your presentation. For instance, if you try to combine a branding presentation with a uh, you, uh, utilitarian presentation, and let's say you're using a game in the branding presentation, that might tie up the kiosk and the result in consumers not being able to access the portion of the presentation that they need to gain further technical information about your product line. Well, thanks for listening. I hope this uh, talk has helped orient you to current interactive technology thinking, and I hope you'll tune in for the next talk in the series. Uh, where I'll explore some of the different touchscreen technologies and their impacts on consumers. Thank you very much.